Here we go. Going to one of my favorite places today, the the Casco. We'll see how uh, she'll see how they treat old Red. Back with another one of those block rocking eats. <laughs> you see what I did there? I'm just fooling you. It's cooking with Rad Max, episode five. You guys ready to get into it? I've got some nutrient dense brownies. That's right, brownies. We're gonna we're gonna indulge your sweet tooth today just a little bit. All right, we're gonna get naughty. All right, a little bit. Be very easy, like four or five ingredients, okay? I, I think you guys are going to love this, all right? First, going to have to get our goodies. So what is it that you're going to need? That's a great damn question, all right? So you, you'll need a blender, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm partial to the ninja, all right? Uh, some sweet potatoes, some eggs, all right? Now, uh, a nut butter. I've got some, I've got some honey here as well. Um, some cacao powder, all right? It's a cacao powder there uh i got some uh algae oil you could use an olive oil of course a coconut um and of course the grass-fed butter now here's the thing rad max i thought you said there's like four ingredients that's right guys but guess what today i'm gonna do two separate recipes one is gonna be plant-based all right one's gonna is no animal products the other one well it's gonna have the eggs and the butter in there all right i got a pretty good idea which is gonna taste better if you know what i'm saying but I just want to test them. I just want to play around with it, you know, and, and uh, see how things feel. So I hope you're ready. All right, put your apron on. Get your goodies. Let's rock. Now, don't you worry. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of uh, baking my sweet potatoes, all right? So the first thing you're going to have to do with those sweet potatoes, turn that oven on to about 400 degrees. All right, get you some sweet potatoes. I like to layer, uh, you know, either either a parchment paper uh, or, or a tin foil or, or something in there. I go for about an hour, and then you get a nice, oh yeah, juicy sweet potato. Look at that! Look at that syrupy, golden brown nectar that's coming out of there. All right, so we, we we're gonna need one cup. All right, so per per recipe, one cup of mashed sweet potatoes. Oh, almost forgot to mention, this is a flourless recipe. It is a gluten-free recipe, right? All you hipsters out there, that ought to put a smile on your face, right? Gluten-free. Some of you guys just went from six to 12, just hearing that, right? So it, it's not necessarily that gluten's a bad thing, right? It's, it's just, it's, it's not something that you actually need in your diet, right? You know what I'm saying? See, the thing is, oh, what about the whole grains? Rad Max, what about the whole grains? Those, those are good, right? The gluten is in. Here, Whole grain, whole grain cereal, all right? What about breakfast? All the whole grain, that's something I should start my day with, right? Have you guys ever heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day? You've heard that, guy. Get the fuck out of here. Of course you've heard that. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You heard that, right? You know where that came from? Let me tell you, a little company called Kellogg's. That's right. That's not some Rad Max bullshit. I'm, I, I spit the truth, all right? In the apocalypse, we got no time for bullshit. Kellogg's Corporation came up with a marketing ploy that said breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's bullshit, all right, but it's a great story, makes for great marketing, and it sells a shit ton of cereal. Before you start dinking around with your sweet potatoes and the cacao in that business, you want to set that oven, all right, preheat it, 350 degrees. See, one of the things I, I absolutely love about the uh, the baked sweet potatoes is, uh, you, you know, once you're done with them, it's almost like it's almost like it has its own little packaging. Comes right off. It's like it's like a locust or something coming right out of its shell, and you can just well, most of the fucking time. Wow, well, look at that! Oh man, look at oh goodness, Gracie, it gets a little messy. All right, you're not afraid of a little mess, are you? Wash your damn hands. All right, hopefully you're still washing your hands. Right, still a pandemic going on. Just because they're laying up on the rules, all right, and they might allow groups of ten to start congregating, doesn't mean you got to stop washing your hands. All right, you feel the best. You know these mashed taters here, the, the mashed sweet potatoes, that is. You could use them in a casserole. You can actually swap them out for a lot of uh, flour things. And again, let's let's get back to that gluten thing, all right? For some reason, uh, gluten-free started being synonymous with healthy, all right? You know what else is gluten-free? Snake venom, all right? But you don't you don't see me drinking a lot of that. <laughs> some, just not a lot, all right? Yeah, you know what else might be gluten-free? Rat turds, all right? Of course, unless you're eating gluten, all right? There's a lot of shit out of there, folks. Radiation, gluten-free. All right? Could be organic, too. All right? They get a lot of propaganda out there. Kellogg's, man, getting into your shit. What are you being programmed with? All right? Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, right? I don't wear a tinfoil hat often. All right? But you got to ask yourselves, right? What are these drones doing up there? All right? What are they What are they doing? What are they doing? And don't get crazy with it. Just ask questions. That's all I ask. Ask questions. You know, when it comes to the nut butters, 
Now, I'm using a peanut butter, all right? Ideally, in a scenario such as this paleo-esque, all right, if you want to go throwing labels on things, you're gluten-free, you're organic, you're grass-fed, you're wild-caught, huh? All right, your nut butters, all right, some people don't like the peanuts, all right, it, it jacks up their guts. I seem to do okay with it sometimes, all right, almond butter, just a little pricier, all right, as being thrifty, at the Costco, I can get two of these bad boys for the price of uh, a one thing of almond butter. All right? I just find the consistency works a little bit better for my cooking creations. All right, so into the blender, we got uh, one cup mashed sweet potato, all right, slips right in there. We got that uh, quarter cup of cacao, right? Cacao! All right, we got that half cup of nut butter. You may need a spoon to kind of help you get it all in there, right? Get it all in there. There we go. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. All right, perfection. There we go. All right, now the last thing we need is our honey. Where the shit did that honey? There we go. Half cup of honey as well. Now, Max, that's a lot. It's a lot of honey. Well, if you eat the whole goddamn pan in one sitting all right small well let's let's talk about portion size i was i was about to say small portions and and here's the thing all right let's let's come back to that after i get this honey look at this look at that oh my goodness can you guys see that i'm just gonna let these things go let them go now you wanna you want a little spatula just to kind of get down on on the side there i got this nice little red spatula should be in this be in this drawer here no you know it's nice when people put things back where they're supposed to go you know creates a sense of uh, did, 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 uh, structure it, you know you know no no red no red spatula no red spatula huh just up and vanish like a fart in the wind huh all right all right well you know what this this thing will work so we'll just we'll, we'll just get in there I'm sure that spatula will turn up eventually all right oh god does that smell good Oh man, I wish you guys could smell this. But of course, if you're making your own, you just stick your stick your little uh, snout in there and, uh, and give, give her a go. Oh, unless you have the COVID, right? You might not be able to taste or smell anything. Turns out it's one of the side effects of this virus out there. And you know what? I, I went ahead and cracked an egg in this one. I, I figured this will be the uh, non-plant based. We'll go with that one first. All right. And, and again, you you could you could tinker with this you know you could throw some some cinnamon or maybe some vanilla maybe some walnuts say hey uh maybe maybe a macadamia or something like that whatever your pleasure you know i started to talk about portion size earlier and uh, you know we eat too much right we, we eat big portions that's it's you know we, we like everything just a little bit bigger here in america and that's okay it's okay as long as we're expending you know a decent amount of calories you know back in the day people would have a hearty breakfast right a big hearty breakfast and then they'd go out and they'd actually work in the fields for an extended period of time all right so 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 they might have needed some pancakes right some bacon and some eggs and a bunch of cheese and maybe some buttermilk and uh you, you know all the rest of that because they were actually going out and then spending a 12-hour day in the field digging and, and, and who knows what other of this. so the thing is now you know there's this recommendation to eat four to six uh, small meals a day how many guys have heard that right eat eat smaller meals that's it's what humans should do right we should eat these small meals throughout the day all right i got I, I, yeah you you heard old max's bullshit flag going off didn't you that's right that's right because that's horse shit all right i want you to think about this how long do you think humans would have lasted if we were supposed to eat every two to three hours huh huh everyone would have died on the oregon trail all right, that's how that works. If humans were supposed to eat four to six small meals a day, all right, we would have died a long time ago. Question. Now, personally, I, I sometimes have two and sometimes three meals a day. Well, what about snacks? Snacks! Get the fuck out of here with your snacks. I don't know. Eat a carrot, maybe. All right, there's your fiber. All right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, guys, question things, all right? Four to six small meals a day may work for some folks, not for everybody. See, I got, I, I got the vegan version of it right here, um, you know, which is just, like, like I said, you know, I got nothing about uh, against the plant-based folks. I, I want to show my love here. Um, so I'm making, you know, one 
animal product version with the eggs and the butter and then another without, right? So uh, I, I just like, I like to experiment. There's a lot of fun things you can do in the pandemic, you know, with your food and with, uh, you know what? I, 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 I've been seeing these quizzes, man. You guys probably seen the quizzes on the Facebooks, right? On the social medias, these little mind benders, right? These little word problems, uh, ma mathematical related, of course. Uh, you know, you'll see like uh, three witches equals 21 and then three brooms equals uh, 15. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? These little, little fun quizzes, right? So I got one for you. You ready? You ready for it? All right. So I, I got 12 brownies. All right. I got 12 brownies. It's three across and four down, right? 12 in the pan, three across, four down. All right. Now you take two. All right. You take two of those and uh, you take you take two out of the pan, right? 12 total. All right. Three across, four down. I remove two. All right. What do you get? You get a fat fucking lip for taking two of my brownies. That's right. In the apocalypse, your food is yours. All right. Now, if I say take one, that's fine. All right. Don't be taking liberties with two. Don't lick a gift horse. Lick a lick, don't lick a, don't don't lick horses in the apocalypse. Or you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Ah, articulation. You see, sometimes you just gotta practice your words. It's a good thing to do in the apocalypse as well. All right. Sorry. Hold on. So I got these two beautiful pies, right? One, 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 the vegan, right? We'll put a label on. I, I don't, I don't care what you say. And then, and then one with uh, with some animals in it. All right, three hundred fifty degrees for twenty minutes. Let's pop these bad boys in. All right, shall we? Put them on that middle rack there. Twenty minute timer. Now while we wait, crack open one of those white claws. That's right, no loss. <laughs> Ruby grapefruit. Yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> yeah, that'll put that'll put some more hair on old Max's chest. So while we're waiting for brownies to cook here, I'd like to talk a little about about training. All right, and what it is that you're doing particular in your training, or what you're not doing, what you're missing out on, what you may not be missing out on, and per some potential opportunities. All right, that you may have that you don't even realize. All right, so. Some of you guys have heard this story, all right? For others, it'll be the first time, all right? I, I love telling it for the first time. So if you've heard it, just bear with me, all right? There have been plenty of studies out there, right, where you, you take uh, three basketball teams, all right, all of similar similar uh, uh, aptitude, right, aptitude, uh, physical prowess, if you will, and, and you see where their free throw percentage is, all right? Team, team one, team two, team three. All right, and then over several weeks, right, you have one team just continue to practice and, and, and just do their normal thing. You have another team actually practice throwing free throws for 30 minutes a day, all right, extra. And then you have another team, ah, and this is the kicker, meditate and just visualize, man. Just think about actually what it feels like to hold that ball, stand on that free throw line, and swish. What's it sound like, right? What's it feel like? What's it smell like in there? 30 minutes, man, which is a long time to visualize a specific event, all right? And then at, at, at the end of this at this study, which they've repeated multiple times, all right, in many aspects, <clears throat> many different domains, every single time, the people that meditated on it, right, the people that just visualized it do just as good, if not better, all right, than the ones that actually practiced. All right, now why is that? Well, that's because your brain doesn't necessarily know the difference between reality and imagination, all right? Now, there's a lot of you right now that, that have been out of the gym for a little while, all right? And you're sad. Boo, frickity, who? all right? Now, it, you can't touch a barbell. Maybe, and maybe, and maybe you're sad. I'm, I'm a little sad about that as well. Now, you're thinking, I'm gonna lose my strength. I'm here to tell you, it's not true. What you may lose is a little bit of the, a little, little bit of the strength on the barbell exercise itself, all right? But how's your handstand looking, right? How's your push-ups looking? How are your pistol squats looking, right? How are your lunges? How's your body weight? Uh, how's your hollow body position, all right? If, if you think about some, some, of the, some of the most badass motherfuckers in the world, right, the Navy SEALs, they don't use barbells, man, all right? You can get a lot done just by using odd, awkward objects smartly and efficiently and listening to your body. And so what, I'm, what I mean to say here is, is that if you're listening to your body, all right, you wake up and, and, and maybe your HRV is shit, maybe you stayed out, maybe you had one too many white claws, all right, the night before, something like that. Maybe you just didn't sleep too well, all right? Maybe you got the vid, all right? Maybe you're thinking, I really wish I could train, right? I wish I could do something. Find yourself a quiet spot. I'm gonna give you some homework, all right? I want you to just take 10 minutes. 
Take 10 minutes and visualize what it is that you think you're missing out on right now and put yourself in that scenario, man. If you're getting depressed about something, right? If you're, if you're getting anxious about not being able to do something, for a lot of you, it's, 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 it's the barbell, right? So I want, you to, I want you to feel feel what it feels like, right? Just imagine, like, what does it smell like in the training center? I want you to put your hands in that shock bucket. Ha! <sighs> Blow it up, right? What's a song on the radio? Maybe even in the meditation, you pick the two songs that you would listen to in training, all right? This is powerful shit, guys. This is powerful stuff, all right? I told you I got no time for bullshit in the apocalypse, all right? I'm speaking truth. So maybe you take 10 minutes, all right? You pick two, three songs, all right, that you're going to PR to or that you really want to get on. Maybe it's a back squat, all right? How, what, where's, where's the Jacob set, right? Where, where's that, right? What does that bar feel like? Did you, wh wh which bar did you grab, right? You grabbed the belly bar, did you grab, did you grab the 45? All right, which one? The rogue, the green one, the silver one? All right, the darker one? All right, where, where do your hands go? Right, where do your hands go? How, how do you get? How do you get underneath that bar? And you squeeze. Where do your elbows go? All right, what are you doing with your abs? Where's your breath at? Where are your feet? You screw them in the ground. I want you to think about every single fucking detail. All right, and, and just and just dive into that. I right? give yourself ten minutes. All right, it's it's it, it, it treat it treats yourself. All right, to this. You, you don't need any tools other than right here, man. And that's, that's one of the most powerful tools you got. So, you, you know, if, if you're not doing visualization meditation, I strongly encourage you, man. This is, this is Max's warning to you that you, you, you better start using your mind, all right, before others start using it for you. Well, our 20 minutes are up. Hope you had fun with that visualization. Hope you did it. If you didn't, that's your homework for tonight. All right, find your songs. Get into it, man. All right. Let's check it out. All right, so we got my vegan and non-vegan. All right, I want you to look at these bad boys here. Ho, 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 ho. You know what? Uh, they look fantastic. I'm gonna go about uh, three more minutes, I think. So they're just a little, a uh, little soft, right? A little jiggly, just a bit jiggly. Now let's let's go three more minutes, shall we? All right. All right, folks. Until next time, this is Rad Max saying, hey, stay away from that marketing bullshit out there that, uh, that, that, that they are trying, trying to feed you, all right? Question things, all right? Maybe visualize. Visualize what it is that you're missing out on. And, and I want to, I wanna, you know, <laughs> we're going to talk about those visualizations, all right? Do you think you're going to PR just by 10 minutes in your head under the bar? No. All right, but there are skills, my friends, all right? You can possess a certain set of skills in your mind, all right? That could be a rope climb. That could be getting over a wall. It could be a handstand. I want you to practice this, right? And getting under the bar just so it doesn't feel like it's been forever since you've been there. All right, so stay nutrient-dense. Change out your sponges, all right? And be careful who's programming up here, all right? That's you.